We are here at Electronica 2024 in Munich at the Texas Instruments stand and we are talking about industrial communication. Now Ethernet has been the standard for quite some time, but Ethernet isn't as simple as it seems on the surface because there are multiple different communication protocols and various different devices will communicate in different ways. Historically, that would mean you would need various different devices to actually support all of those protocols, or at very least something that would need to be rebooted in between. But Giovanni is here to tell me why that is no longer the case, because Texas Instruments have come up with a way of doing things uh, at runtime, right? Correct. Yeah. So, with you know, our scalable uh, portfolio on the hardware, on the software side, mm. we are actually able uh, to connect, you know, multiple devices, multiple controllers that, you know, talk uh, different languages in the factories. Mm. You know, if you think about a factory, right, you have many sensors from different you know suppliers you have different type of gateways so it's really important that all those things you know are able to talk uh, with each other in the same language and that's what we are solving with our you know um, hardware and software solution in this case uh, uh, one of our latest release device the m261 that is able to run multiple industrial protocol like ethernet ip ethercat and profinet on the upstream for uh, going towards you know the controllers the servers and then on the downstream side is able to you know to uh, control different actuators in this case for example some tower lights or light towers and also read back from uh, from sensor via iolink so with one chip basically you are able to run um, four protocol stacks right and also the application software on top of that. Absolutely, yeah. And, uh, and as well as being able to do all of this kind of stuff in uh, real time at runtime and being able to do all of this on one chip, doing it that way has a number of uh, advantages when it comes to things like time sensitivity and, as I mentioned before, real time. Um, and so, I mean, is there any kind of example of that? I know you have some motors on show here um, to show how this can help in terms of uh, situations where you'd want synchronicity like robotics, for example. Yeah, so actually here uh, we are showing a time sensitive network uh, protocol, right? So uh, what it's showing is um, basically how you are able uh, to synchronize multiple devices uh, via, via TSN, right? In this case, yeah, we're showing some uh, server motors, mm -hmm. and then um, they are being driven by uh, three controller boards uh, that are connected to each other in a daisy chain function with or uh, fashion with uh, single pair Ethernet. Mm -hmm. So not only you are able to achieve you know synchronization, which you know in application as you mentioned robotics is key, right, in order to run your factory smoothly. Yeah. But in this case also, as we are using you know single pair Ethernet, we are able to reduce the cables and overall you know the cost. Absolutely, yeah. And so not only are you now able to use a single chip to uh, create these things that, as you say, are synchronizable over multiple protocols, um, is this something that um, is going to be easily scalable as well? Let's say someone started with a smaller operation and wanted to scale it outwards. Is this something that is going to be able to go uh, above and beyond what we're seeing on the wall here today? For sure. Yeah. So uh, scalability comes in different ways. The first, the first way is on the hardware side. So we offer, you know, uh, microcontroller, microprocessor from a single core, ARM core up, you know, to uh, multi-core uh, uh, ARM processor, and then uh, so you can go from very low-end controller up to very high-end controllers, and then scalability also comes, uh, you know, as we have different uh, files, Ethernet files. Uh, uh, 10, gigabit, um, single pair Ethernet, and IO-Link files, and then on the software, right? We offer certified uh, protocol stacks, as I said, you know, Ether Ethernet IP, EtherCAT, Profinet, IO-Link, uh, Master, and much more. Absolutely, and, uh, and as always, if you're interested in finding out anything more about the industrial communication side of what TI are doing, um, as well as the AM261, which is their new microcontroller they've just released, you will find all of that underneath this video and in the accompanying blog post. Giovanni, thank you so much for your time today. Cheers. Thanks, Steve. <laughs>